Hello, my name is Alexander and in this short demonstration I will show you how to upload CA sign certificate for the IPCC Diagnostic Portico Framework. So if you will go to the uh, Diagnostic Portico application and this, your certificate would be self-signed, usually you will see some error message like this. So you have to either go with advanced and add an exception for it, or you can just use a, a CA sign certificate so your browser will trust it. So uh, I have uh, IPCC 11 lab deployed. So in this demonstration, I will use my PGA to upload the certificate there. Also, I'll use my Microsoft Certificate Authority, which is deployed on the 2012 Windows Server. So let's start from the beginning. First of all, we have to generate the CSR on the uh, BGA on the IIS server then we have to sign the CSR and generate the certificate then we have to upload the certificate onto BGA and then we will verify so first of all uh, let's uh, generate CSR I used this article so you can just copy it and use it as well So now I'm on the PGA and let's go to the IIS manager. In the IIS manager, we have to navigate to this PGA. not this one we have to find server certificates here you will see uh, two self-signed certificates and one of them is for a diagnostic framework so let's generate the CSR and press create certificate request the common name that I would like to pick would be uh, my host name plus domain so, uh, it has to be this way. So, then I enter the details of my site where my deployment is located, but uh, it can be anything as you know. Just this would be sent over to the certificate authority they should verify it and generate the certificate for you then I'm selecting 2048 <clears throat> bit length for the key and I will store this certificate on a desktop and I will name it as BGA CSR. So, okay, and as you can see, I have this. So now let's open this with um, Notepad, for example. And we have like our first part covered. So let's copy the certificate to the buffer. Now I'll go to my uh, certificate authority and I'll generate the certificate. I'll press advanced. Then I will paste that request and I recommend you to verify just to avoid any kind of confusion. I'm verifying uh, the last four digits or letters. So it, 
in my case it's Q18M. It's Q18M. Okay, so that's the same one. Then I'm selecting web server and then I'm downloading the certificate. So it's right here. I'll just rename it because every time it would have cert new. So I'll rename it to PGA. For example, if you're doing this task in bulk, then you need to avoid clutter. So here uh, we have our certificate. Again, I copied it and as I said, just to avoid the confusion and any kind of mistakes, because sometimes uh, when I'm copying to the buffer, for some reason it's not copying. So I'm always verifying the last four letters. So it's G-A-X-O, or zero in this case to be precise. So again, copy. Then I'm going again to my PG server. I'm creating a document, and in this document it would be uh, so here it would be BGA sir. See, it's it is a certificate. Uh, you you can rename it first to the txt file and then to the certificate because we would need to just do this trick. So you see again GAX0. So we have the certificate. The thing is that now the next step we need to open it. You see that the certificate was generated by my certificate authority which is Alevich uh, dash DC12 dash CA and th this certificate is issued for PGA. So, in order to proceed, we have to copy the thumbprint. But the thumbprint has to be... So, you see, when I'm copying, the question mark uh, as a prefix appears, so you have to remove it and make sure again that this thumbprint is correct. So, it ends with E2 and starts with F3. It seems like it's correct. And then, for a command that I will uh, type next, I need to remove the spaces. So for that, I'm just using my uh, notepad++. Plus plus. So you see, and basically I am replacing all. So here in find what I added space, in replace, I added nothing. So I removed it this way. So you didn't have to like do this manual work. Then the next step so we accomplished like basically two steps. We generated cert CSR, we signed the certificate on the uh, uh, CA, not AD. In my case, it's the same uh, server, but still we have to understand that these are different, uh, different things. So the next thing would be to upload the cert. So first of all, uh, it's recommended to stop Diagnostic Portica service, and since I very like to use a command line, I would do this from service control stop command line command. So it's like it should be stopped now. If you don't know the name of the process, you can use the task list command. Basically, you can type task list, or if you don't want to search, you can also type this, and then diag. Uh, as usually, when you're doing demo, uh, something doesn't work, right? Okay. Find string. Ah, I can't find it, obviously, because it's stopped, right? So we'll check that uh, when we start the service back. So then we have these three commands that I will use. So first of all, we have to navigate to the Portico folder with this. Oh. So we are there. Another command would be to unbind our cert that we are using now. 
So let's go through these lines for this output. Make sure that you have something that looks the same or at least similar. So you see executing task. This is our port number, binding, attempting to delete, deleted. Existing binding successfully. So we're uh, looking to see this one. So the next thing would be the most important one. Uh, it is to bind our new certificate. So we have like our certificate hash and I, I've replaced the one from my template with the one that we actually need. So pasting the command once again just as I said, make sure that you're copying <sighs> properly. So you see the command was pasted, executing, read port number, the same, same, trying to look up certificate, local uh, computer personal certificate store was opened successfully, failed to find the certificate. And this, this is actually very good because I forgot to add the certificate to the local store, personal store. So that's, that's quite nice that I forgot that. So to do that, we have to, uh, press Windows and MMC, MMC console will open. I'm pressing Control M or you can press Add or Remove Snap In. Then certificates, select computer account, then press finish and OK. You will see that uh, I have like uh, certificates, local computer, personal certificates, and here I have all tasks and import. So in the import, I have to just select the certificate located on my desktop that was generated, like this one. So uh, select the default and import was successful. As you can see, what's very important that this was issued for pga.alevish.local, which is my host name, domain name, and it was issued by my CA. So if I execute the same command once again, the output should be a bit different. Found existing, uh, so it's uh, certificate store was clo uh, certificate requested found in store. Certificate was closed successfully. Certificate bind with this completed successfully. So uh, this operation from the second attempt is finished successfully. And there is also a command how you can verify the binding. So <clears throat> uh, again, trying to look up was stored successfully, certificate found in store, stored, so certificate binding is valid. So this is what we're looking for. And uh, lastly, of course, we have to start the Portico service once again. As you can see, it's not copying properly from the first attempt. Okay, so we start the, this diagnostic framework Portico service. So let's go back to the task list, right, and try to find the service. Oh, uh, something doesn't work with this. <laughs> Diag. No. So, but I'm sure that also you can verify this from the run services console. And here you will have Cisco <coughs> diagnostic framework. So if you're not comfortable with the CLI and with, the, or for some reason the commands that I provided, uh, don't work for you, you can always stop and start the service from here. So, I hope that now, when I press enter, it should work. And as you can see, that my page is loading without throwing me any kind of certificate warnings. And you can even verify it right here. So PGA Alevich local secure connection and verified by Alevich DC 12 CA. If you are doing tests in the 
Internet Explorer. That should work without any kind of problems if you have one condition, if you have one prerequisite, I should say. So, yeah, it asks me for credentials. So, after providing the correct one, I see that again, this is trusted party alleged. But to make it trusted, you have to again go to again like your MMC console. You have to add the snapping on your local PC for certificates. I think a user account would be okay. And then in the trusted root certification authorities certificates, you have to have a CA certificate uploaded. So, you have to actually go to your CA server, download a CA certificate, download a CA certificate, save the file, again go there, I'm renaming it CA, or you can put root, open, and then you can press install, just click next, 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 and the certificate would be installed. I just, but I think it will do no harm for me if I'll do the same. So, finished, import was successful, <clears throat> and it will work. And the same, of course, applies for the, and the same is especially <clears throat> uh, required for PG, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, because the certificate uh, should not be imported successfully if you don't have if you don't have it I mean if you don't have root certificate right here which I have so may, before you do all that make sure that all of the uh, parties like server or client, they both trust the root certificate. If you're in a domain infrastructure, that should be pre-configured for you. If you're deploying everything from the scratch, or this is your lab, or this is a fresh in install, then you have to make sure. And the very last thing that uh, applies only for Mozilla Firefox browser, that uh, it's not using the Windows default key store and it has its own so you have to go to advanced certificates view certificates and you have to import the same CA certificate here certificate is already installed as a certificate of authority in my case but if again if you're testing this from the explore then you have to do that. So, yeah, it's somewhere here. <clears throat> so, thanks everyone for watching this. I hope this would be helpful.